Everything has been prepared to your specification, capital B. The workforce is now yours. Hmm. Do you think this new statue is golden enough? Or too golden? Ow, it's, um... Focus tested. These employees need someone to look up to. Hold on. What is that? That's a... Vice President statue, sir? I didn't sign off on that. Plus, it's casting an awkward shadow on the President's plane. The Bennett. Of course, you're the boss now. Now, are we ready to synergize your latest profit of plumping technology, Dr. Quack? Yes, sir. I prepare the Novelizer 64, my most ingenious invention. We can use this to steal all the dusty old books in the world and leave us as the only player in the market. An equally ruthless and dynamic strategy, Doctor. I like it. Prepare the device immediately. I want to be on the world's of the World Forest Golf Course by lunchtime. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Crack. Make sure you secure the special book. This is the life. I think this old shipwreck uh, finally feels like home lately. That'll be my vibrant paint job, Duke. It's about time we re-renovated this place. Most of the rooms uh, haven't uh, been touched uh, since we moved in. Who knows what's hiding under the floorboards? Insects mainly. Delicious they were. Oh! It's some old book I've been using as a drinks coaster. Whoa, pirate treasure! I bet that's worth loads. It looks antique. Really? Do you reckon we should uh, flog it? Uh, I'll split you 80-20 in my favor. Hey, my profit bug! It's being sucked away! The pages! They're escaping! And they're golden! I think that book is a bit more special than you thought, lady. Quick, after it! It's worth even more now that it's a flying book! Hey everybody, it's here to you, and welcome back to the 12 Days of Gaming. In the previous episode, we played Banjo-Kazooie. In today's episode, we'll be playing the spiritual successor, Ukulele. This is a bit of a controversial 3D platformer, because there were a lot of people really excited for it, and it didn't quite meet the expectations that people were expecting of this game. Personally speaking, I don't care. I love this game. It's one of my favorite 3D platformers on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, just look at this right here. It says Batship Crazy. 
the humor in this game is so great, and it plays exactly like a 3D platformer would from the Nintendo 64 era, which was really the whole point of this game to begin with. Also, I gotta say, I absolutely love the detail that Lady's uh, towel is much bigger than Yuka's, even though that Lady's a lot smaller. <laughs> Uh, I just really enjoy this game. It's not perfect. Uh, it does have a lot of problems. We won't really get into a whole lot of them in this video, but I still absolutely adore ukulele. Alright, pals. Lucky to see you. Hi there, I'm Yuka, and this is my buddy Lele. Do we know you? Of course. It's me, Trouser, the honest and dexterous salesman. Yeah, I remember. You're the crooked sword of that dodgy flat screen. Nope, not me. You're surely mistaken, friend. Hey, Trouser, did you happen to see a magical flying book uh, go through the air? For five quills, I did. They're in high demand, and now this book uh, business is kicked off. Perhaps you can find enough in those treasure chests flying around. I already tried lockpicking lock picking those while Yuka was asleep. No chance. Blay, I cannot read apparently. Ah, to unlock them, you'll need one of my trademark special moves. By using Y, our green friend here can perform the tail twirl attack. It's smashing. Press Y to attack. Got it. Excellent. Now go whack those treasure chests and bring me my five quills. Alright, so now we have a special ability. This is the Tail Twirl. Uh, this is basically Yuka's main attack. You can think of it as like a spin attack from uh, the Super Mario Galaxy games or something like that. Now, the really weird thing about Ukulele is that starting a new playthrough of this game, you really do feel naked because you don't have any of your abilities anymore and it's just kind of interesting. Mmm, I'm Tasty Butterfly Energy. Be nice and collect me to refill your power bar. Magic Butterfly! I don't think we can do anything about this quite yet. Oh, we can. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> I thought we needed an ability later in the game to go in there, but I was mistaken. So, yeah, the butterflies, uh, they refill your energy. The quills, they are pretty much the coins of the game. Uh, so, basically, ukulele is uh, kind of like a big uh, 3D platformer and things like that. And there's some really cool gameplay mechanics, and unfortunately we won't have a lot of time to show them off in this video. Although it would be interesting to let's play the game someday. I'm not saying that I will anytime soon, but the whole point of the 12 Days of Gaming in the first place is to kind of uh, test the waters uh, with games that I'm thinking about let's playing, maybe someday at some point, maybe, perhaps. Uh, so... This is definitely one that I've thought about in the past, uh, but um, it's just that other games have become a bit more of a priority as time goes on. But now that we have five of them, we can go back and talk to Trouser if we want. But I'm going to talk to this guy first. Hey, Blasto, are you feeling today? <laughs> Not so good. My throat hurts and I've almost totally lost my voice. That'll be last night's karaoke. <laughs> Your performance blew us away. I'm not so sure. I think someone hurled a yellow newspaper this way and I accidentally inhaled it. I wish there was a hard-hitting cure that could bound me back into shape. So this is hinting at something that we could do later, but we don't have the necessary ability to do it right now. So unfortunately, we probably won't be able to get that in this video. I'm not entirely sure how far do you clearly uh, we'll be playing in this video. And going back to what I was saying earlier about uh, feeling naked trying to play through this game on a new playthrough, I'm trying to use an ability that will let us roll around, and we don't have that ability yet, so that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Yeah. Strange things going on in there since the takeover by Ivory Towers Corp. Yeah. I'm headed there myself to sell some moves allow me to raise the gate. Come on, you go. Let's get that book book before a trouser realizes he didn't give us those quills we found. So, I gotta say, I absolutely love this guy's character design. He's a snake that wears pants. That's just funny. <laughs> uh, to get across, uh, we'll need to jump. Uh, luckily, we have the ability to jump because that's what we do. Uh, Bless the blah. Ah, no, 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 no. 
Alright, so that's one thing that's kind of problematic about ukulele that I will agree with other people. This game doesn't have the best camera in the world, and it does uh, make some of these platforming segments a bit more complicated than they need to be. Now, this is supposed to be like a big tribute to the Nintendo 64 era gaming, uh, so I kind of excuse it because uh, the games in those eras didn't have great cameras either. But at the same time, we also live in a world where. Uh, which one was it? Yeah, we live in a world where Super Mario Odyssey is this thing and has an amazing camera, so. Yeah, I kind of wish this game had a bigger, better camera. But, anywho, let's go into here. So yeah, this area right here, this is basically the Spiral Mountain of Ukulele. So this is your big tutorial area, and there is stuff uh, for us to do if we were to come back here at a later time. Like the Blasto character, we could uh, save him. We would get an ability a little bit later. Um, and I'm skipping on the dialogue right there, because it's pretty much just telling you that you can use the button to attack, or he says I'm assuming what I was saying, because there's enemies over here, we can attack them. Uh, I was like, I exactly paying attention to the dialogue? But if this was a let's play, then yeah, I would pay attention. <laughs> now it's trespassing, this is private property! Hello, we're searching for our missing book. Uh, it looks like it went this way. Your book belongs to us now, all as well most of the world supply before long. <laughs> That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a bookmobile? <laughs> Actually, it's just one book in particular we're interested in. Now scram before I go security. There's something not right about this place lately. We should investigate. Let me in! Oh, they're letting me in. Wow, that's the first time that's ever happened. I demand somebody let me in, and they let me in. That's so nice. Probably won't be a running trend, though. Oh, right then. Now we're inside the Ivory Towers, and Trouser some here came here faster than we did. Kind of like that one guy in Resident Evil 4. How he's always just suddenly there, and you can buy stuff from him. <laughs> Lovely to see you again, pals. I see you got to, to speed with your basic moves. You could give himself a short tutorial on the way in. Smashing! Time to put your skills to work. I've spotted a piece of your buck. Why don't you go in and collect it and find out what's going on? I'd go myself, but I've got an important call coming up with, with the Ward 1 boss. He's after one of my super moves. Alright. <laughs> this game has no fourth wall. It's brilliant. <laughs> so, this right here is basically just uh, telling you the path uh, that you need to take to get up there. Not a big fan of games that do this. I don't even like it when Tomb Raider Legend does this. Uh, but luckily, we can skip it. Yay! <laughs> uh, one more thing that I'd like to mention real quick. Again, I'm probably not going to be able to demonstrate this in this video. But something really cool about ukulele is that this game has a 64-bit filter. So a little bit later in the game, we'll meet a character who can give us a tonics. And basically what those do is that they give us special abilities like um, a special move will take less energy to use or just things like that. One of the tonics you can activate will make the game look like it's running on Nintendo 64 and they'll even have the blurry lines that you'd see on a CRT television. It's just really cool. I like it. It's just so cute! <laughs> Hello there, who might you be? I'm a page. I live inside the all-powerful One Book. The One Book? How much is one of those worth? The One Book is incredibly powerful, and it's been stolen by the evil Capital B. A B? If Capital B unlocks a power within, his crooked company will have the power to rewrite the universe. Luckily, us pages have fled the One Book and gone to hiding. Without pages, the One Book is just an empty shell. If you use me to unlock uh, one of the Grand Tomes in this factory, we can transport to another world and search for more of my friends. Don't worry, we'll help you, Pagey. Come on, Lily, let's uh, find one of those uh, Grand Tomes and search for more Pages. 
Hey pals, I believe I can assist you on your quest. Uh, want him to come and see me for the details. Hmm, we're seeing pretty high up. Eh, we only live once. Whee! Oh, <laughs> we didn't take damage from that. Thanks a lot, game. You ruined my joke. Say, you two chaps uh, need to explore those grand tombs, and I'm looking to expand my business uh, to unlock locations. How about we make a deal? For every grand tomb you unlock, I'll help you on your quest uh, with a new move free of charge. That sounds like a good deal, Charles. We're in. Super! Your first complimentary move is uh, one of trademark abilities. If you hold on to ZR, you'll get the grip uh, you needed to roll up slippery ramps. There's a uh, one note in the small print, pals. The longer you use this move, the more you'll drain your power bar. So roll wisely. Instead of eating butterflies, you can collect them to refill your power bar. Why don't you try your new trouser or patented maneuver on that nearby slippery ramp? Okie dokie, so this is the ability that I was talking about a moment ago, how I felt kind of naked not having this ability, but now we can roll around at the speed of sand. Got places to go and we're interrupted by a good scene. Look lately, a PG and a KG, amazing! <laughs> Help, a capital B is a corporate uh, minions are locked me in this mental prison! These pamphlets are our pushy. Come on then, uh, tell us where the key is. Uh, there is no key. Cages are unlocked by solving nearby puzzles, but you've not yet learned the correct move to help me. Okay, Paige, we'll come back for you later. Not in this video, buddy. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. But uh, we're going to be exploring a little bit of this next world before we wrap up this video. Hey, you made it the first Grand Tome. The Grand Tomes are magical gateways to new worlds. Ivory Tower seems uh, to have captured many, but only us pages can unlock them for you. Stand on the switch, and if you have collected enough pages, we can unlock it for you. Yeah, yeah, then we go inside and rescue more of you, right? That's right, once inside, don't forget to find trousers. It sounds like those moves that he sells will help you out on your adventure. It will cost one page to unlock the world? Let's do it! And without further ado, let's go inside! Welcome to Tribal Stack of Tropics! So, let's go over here and uh, let's begin exploring this world! So, the thing is, like I said plenty of times in this video already, a lot of the really cool features about ukulele, Unfortunately, we won't be able to show them off in this video, so you definitely should uh, try out this game on your own time if you want to experience all the cool stuff for yourself. So, this game is available on the Nintendo Switch, that's the version I'm playing. It's also available on PS4, the Xbox One, I think it's also available on PC, I'm not sure about that. This game was originally supposed to be on Wii U, but it got cancelled because of technical limitations, which is code for nobody cared about the Wii U by the time the game came out, and they move development over to the Switch, which is fine. The Wii U is a good console, but it was definitely not going to be a good business decision to try to release the game on there, because very, very few people would buy it. And where are you supposed to be? I'm a PGP, so I got turned up by Capital B's enforcers and thrown in this jungle. My other pieces have been scattered nearby. Please, find my other three pieces and I'll be whole again. You poor thing, don't worry, we'll reunite you with yourself. I thought this was supposed to be a modern game, Yuga. Collectibles used to come in one piece. 
see what I mean when I say the dialogue is amazing? <laughs> Alrighty then, so, going back to the last thing a moment ago, the big thing that makes a ukulele unique uh, compared to other 3D platformers is the fact that this game's worlds, uh, how you unlock them, is pretty different from other games of this style. So, we, like I showed off earlier, when you uh, collect pages, you can use them to unlock new worlds. But, you can also use pages uh, to make these worlds even bigger. So, this world may seem fairly big uh, as we go through the area anyway. But, oh man, the massive version of this world is just absolutely awesome. <laughs> now, some expanded versions are a bit better than others. I'll just say bluntly right now, I'm not a big fan of the expanded version of World 2 at all. That's probably the lowest point in the game. But, pretty much everything else is pretty awesome. And, speaking of awesome stuff, this music is incredible. So, I'm going to shut up for a moment so you can listen to it. Or not, because we got the last of the PGs. <laughs> Never mind, we'll talk to them. And then we'll shut up and listen to music. You found all my pieces! Finally, I'm free! Not for long, Goldie. Okay, now I'll shut up for a moment. <laughs> Well, if it is my old mates, uh, please step right into my office. What office? Looks more like a crumbly old temple to me. Ah, yes, Spain Oteds and top designers are on the case award winners, classy stuff. Anyway, I take it you're here for some of Trazor's famous advanced maneuvers. Yes, please, we could really do some more moves on Trouser. Smashing! Just for you, my good pals, I'll teach you a real boss slammer. Just 30 quills a bargain. Hold on, I thought we had a deal. We unlocked worlds, you give us freebies. My free moves apply only in ivory towers, I'm afraid. In the tome worlds, it's business as usual. That is one S uh, too many for a swear word. I'm just gonna say that right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me know which product you're after, and we'll fit out the required forms. So this right here, we can get some new abilities. The Sonar Shot, the Slurp Shot, and the Buddy Slam. So, we're gonna get the Sonar, the Sonar Shot because there's a Quill nearby. That, or a Page, excuse me. There's a Page nearby that's gonna require this. We could get the Buddy Slam. That is what's required for the Blasto Page in the uh, tutorial world. And we could get that. Maybe we will if I decide to go grab enough uh, quills. Uh, again, I'm not entirely sure how much further into the game we'll be playing. My recording setup uh, says that we're at 26 minutes right now. I know for a fact the video will be shorter than that. And oh my goodness, that took forever. <laughs> that took forever to get through. Why? <laughs> okay, okay. So, I believe with this guy we can use our super handy dandy powers of the... Sort of shot to take care of the evil jerk person face thing. If we can aim properly, go away! Stop shooting at me! Alright, look away. That did not work. Okay. Alright, so I never remember how to deal with that guy. Now I'm kind of regretting not buying the Buddy Slam instead. So I never remember how to deal with that one. It always bothers me. 
and I'm not gonna have the patience uh, to try and figure it out in this video. <laughs> uh, so, actually, before we go up there, there's one more character in the temple that I'd like to talk to real quick. So that's over here. That's all I gotta say, the noise that Yigla makes uh, when you're climbing around, when you're rolling around, things like that. It's like the most adorable thing ever. I love you gun lately. Uh, they're pretty great characters. I don't think they're quite as iconic as Banjo Kazooie are because Banjo Kazooie are just classic uh, characters in general. But you can lately, they're definitely worthy spiritual successors. And you look like SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm sorry, but you do. Like, I don't even know where you're supposed to be. Like, are you. You look like a sponge. I'm sorry. What are you? <laughs> Hey kids, uh, what can I get you? Uh -huh. Um, one please. On well, Tonica, you got uh, present uh, your company approved ID card first kid. Ivory Towers employees only. Ah oh, yes, about that. My bat friend here ain't mine. Tell you what, I'll leave you off just this once. Uh, we're all friendly colleagues after all. Yes, friendly colleagues. The name's Vendi. I assume uh, you're familiar with my game-modifying tonics. Remember, each tonic you equip uh, makes a big change uh, to your rules of work. You need to complete a challenge to unlock each one, and no messing around, only one tonic equipped at a time. Come see me when you want to swap them out. Alright, so... I believe it's this one. Yep, it is! I'm very really happy that we can demonstrate this in the video. Uh, there's a bunch of other tonics we could use. Uh, my personal favorite one, I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. Um, the roller ability will consume less energy, which is very useful for traveling long distances. And there are big worlds in this game, so this is very useful. But I really love this one because it looks like a Nintendo 64 game. Great choice. That's a useful tonic. This is absolutely amazing. I love this so much. And I legitimately do not understand the people who were complaining like, ah, oh, it's just a filter. That's the point! It's supposed to look like a filter. <laughs> so, yeah, this is absolutely incredible. And I love how it looks like it's running on a CRT. And that's especially the case so when you're playing this in handheld mode. I love this so much. It just looks so cool. <laughs> uh, we're probably going to spend the rest of this video with this tonic turned on. Uh, so I'm just going to admire the background real quick. Uh, yeah, it just looks so good. Uh, I love this game. <laughs> like I said earlier, it definitely has some problems. The camera is not that great and there are some questionable gameplay choices in a couple of the worlds. Especially with the aforementioned uh, World 2 uh, Expanded World. But still, this is a pretty incredible game. Gosh, uh, I seem to have gotten myself in a thing that I couldn't finish reading because I was clicking the button too fast. So. Ah! What? You hurt me in the cutscene! That's not nice. That is the opposite of nice. That is rice. Alright, I'm gonna bro save you. She's looking a bit about nurse. Kuraibs, thank goodness you're here. I've been camped by these things and they're going to cook me. If they're hungry, they'll need a character a bit more fleshed out than you. Gosh, it seems that you can't be a world-class explorer these days without being cooked and eaten. <laughs> Help me escape and I will work with the pagey. But be quick, uh, quick uh, my captors will be back any minute with their condiments. Oh no, condiments. Oh, no, we gotta do. Ketchup is scary. Okay, real talk. I've talked in the past about some of my weird eating habits, like, uh, for example, I'd never eat ranch uh, with a salad or anything like that. I also only have ketchup. I don't like any other condiment. Like, mayonnaise is okay sometimes. I hate mustard. Um, and pretty much it's only ketchup that I like. I mean, barbecue sauce can be pretty good sometimes, but it's really just only ketchup that I really like. <laughs> I don't know, I'm weird when it comes to that kind of stuff. Also, whenever I have a sandwich, I only ever eat it with peanut butter. I don't put jelly or honey or anything like that. It's only ever peanut butter. Um, and also, we're gonna die soon. So, oh, never mind. <laughs> it looks like dinner's canceled. 
Oh, thank you, kind deserter. You have my eternal gratitude. Those brutes uh, took a real beating, but I have a feeling they'll be back. Can you feel it in your bones? <laughs> Please take your reward. You earned it. And now we have a pagey! So I don't remember if this is only in the expanded world, but I want to go over here anyway. Yep, it is. Okay, that's unfortunate. So there is a pretty awesome cameo in this game where... But if you go over to that cliff, uh, Shovel Knight will actually make a cameo in this game, which is pretty awesome. His dialogue is pretty great, and I love Shovel Knight, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, so... We're going to be wrapping up this video fairly soon, but there are a couple other things I want to talk about in relation to ukulele. So, the first thing is that uh, ukulele actually has a new game that's coming out by the time this video is released. As I'm recording this, ukulele and the impossible lair has not come out yet, but I am really excited for that game because it's kind of like a spiritual successor to Donkey Kong 64, no, um, 64 uh, Donkey Kong Country is what I'm trying to say, and we died. <laughs> Ukulele in the Possible Lair is pretty much like a spiritual successor to um, Donkey Kong Country, which is really, really cool. I loved Ukulele, and I'm really excited to see how Impossible Lair turns out. It has not come out by the time that I record this video, so I can't really say that's the most amazing game ever, um, because I haven't played it for myself yet, but by the time this video comes out, maybe I would have played it, so if I did, then insert post-commentary commentary right here. Hi, post-commentary lady here to you. I played it five times when I was at PAX West, so definitely try it out. Alright, that's enough out of you. <laughs> Alright, so, I can go to the fire. Uh, the fire is a little bit hard to see on the 64 tonic, so that's one thing that I'm not a big fan of with this thing. Uh, so, if you're going to this area, definitely have the tonic turned off. Um, but this is still really cool, and it certainly took its own sweet time to actually get released, uh, because they teased this pretty much since the game came out, and it didn't get released until, like, actually, now that I think about it, I think it didn't get released until, like, the 1st of all days. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I'm gonna jump over this thing, because I don't have the patience to wade around. <laughs> and another thing that's pretty interesting is that... Um, it's been a couple months uh, since I recorded the Banjo-Kazooie video for the 12 Days of Gaming, and in that time, Banjo-Kazooie was announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, uh, and by the time this video was released, uh, he would have been released. So, that is just awesome. <laughs> the Banjo-Kazooie earned Smash Brothers. it is legitimately mind-blowing. Like, the third-party characters in Ultimate, they were pretty great, kind of. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of Cal Castlevania, so I wasn't too excited about Simon or Richter. I legitimately kind of hate Street Fighter, so I was not happy about Ken being in the game. I'm sorry, Street Fighter fans, I just don't like that game. Um, Joker from Persona was a really pleasant surprise. I was not expecting that one at all, but Banjo-Kazooie is probably the most surprising third-party character to come to Smash Brothers since Cloud. And that's just pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, so we're portraying 35 minutes on the recording setup, so I think now is pretty much a good time to call quits for this video, because I can't really think of any other good pages that would not take a long time to grab. So this is pretty much going to be it for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching the 12 Days of Gaming, uh, just like every other video on the series. If this is a game that you'd like to see as a full Let's Play someday, let me know in the comments below, and until next time, Lady Gary to you! Oh yeah!